English for teachers. Lesson nine. This is me, Azan, and this is me, Sneha. A lesson T. Natural speaking er jonno khubi guruttopurno. Audio shune bar bar practice korun. Ek jon college er shathe oboshyo practice korte hobe. Exclamations for speaking. Ah, that when much expected something. Or somebody is seen. Example: Ah, there you are. Very nice expression. Thank you. Then, adieu means goodbye. Example: She bade him adieu and left. Adios means goodbye. Example: She bade him adios and left. Next we have again. Ah, used to express understanding, pleasures, pain, surprise, or the fact that we have noticed something. Example: Ah, I see. Example two: Why has the train stopped? Ah, now we are off again. Example three: Ah, enter. How wonderful to see you. Example four. Ah, what a lovely baby! Next expression. Aha, one of my favorite expression. You can say, um, I always try to use it. Aha, sounds amazing. So it means used when you suddenly understand or find something. Example one. Aha, now I see what you mean. Example two, aha, that's where I put my keys. Next expression, ahoy, that's a pretty new one. Um, it means a shout used, especially by people in boats, to attract attention. Ahoy there. Example, ahoy there. Ahoy. It has also another meaning. Uh, used especially on a boat, when you see something, usually something which is in the distance. Example one: Land ahoy. Example two: Ship ahoy. Next expression: All right. It means used to greet someone at the same time, as asking. Whether they are well, for example. All right, Tarek. Not bad, thanks. And you? Next expression. All right, said with the main emphasis on right, expressing approval of what has been said or done. For example. Did you hear? I hit that creep who'd been pestering me. All right. Next, April Fool. U.S. April Fools. It's right? really famous. Yes, especially you. You use it whenever it's April, the first day of April. Am I right? Exactly. So, it's pretty famous to the young generation. Yes. And、uh, not pretty actually. It's too famous. Yes, it's exactly. Uh, it used to said. On April Fool's Day, when you have tricked someone. Really funny. Okay, so the example is, "Hey, you're an April Fool and earhead." Note: On April Fool's Day, thousands of Muslims were burned alive in Spain by playing tricks with the innocent Muslims. Be careful about this term. Next, bah means. An expression of anger or disapproval. For example, "Bah, is this your time?" So, it's kind of like a Bangla expression. You can say, "Bah." Yes, I mean the British guys. They have taken it. They have stolen it from Bangla. Exactly, you're right. So, yes. Next, next we have. Bulldash. Now the question is, what 
the hell is it? It is nonsense. I mean, the meaning is nonsense. Something that is stupid or not true. For example, Balderdash, he said indignantly or angrily. Right. Next we have be gone means go away. For example, be gone, he shouted, and never let me see your face again. Okay, next, blast, an expression of anger, means so oh, blast, I have left my keys at home. The check arrived. Next we have blast, not that blast, I mean bold blast, not really that, it's an expression of anger, you can say kinda like that. Whenever a bomb becomes very angry and it blasts, so like you, so also you. Whenever you become very angry, you sometimes blast and say whatever you, you got in your brain. So, for example, Sneha, what you can say? Sure. The example is, oh, blast, I've left my keys at home. All right, next, blimey, an expression of surprise. Example, blimey, what a lot of food. Next, boo, an expression usually shouted, used to surprise and frighten someone who does not know you are near them. Example, she jumped out of the cupboard and shouted, Boo! Especially, we use this whenever we are playing hide and seek. Or scaring someone. Right. Next, we have boo hoo. The sound of a noisy crying, like a child's. Example, boo hoo. She wailed, I'm lost. Uh oh. Next, bosh. Means nonsense. Example, don't talk such bosh. That's bosh. It's bosh. Oh my god. Bosh, bosh, bosh. All are bosh. Right. Boshish. Okay, next. Bother. Used to express anger. Example. Oh, bother. It's raining and I left my umbrella at home. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, next we have botheration. Means an expression of anger. For example, Oh, botheration, I can find my keys anywhere. Next, we have boy. Used to express excitement or to emphasize something. Example, Boy, that was good. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Next, Bravo. Used to express your pleasure when someone, especially a performer, has done something well. Example, bravo, you played well. Next, brill means brilliant or very good. Example, you should buy the city, it's brill. Oh, really? Okay, next I've got bugger, used to express anger. Example, oh, bugger, it's raining. Next, all right, it's bullshit. Known word. Uh, yes, bullshit. It's really common nowadays. Most of the young kids, they have started using this expression. It um, feels like this is one of the common words. Right, complete nonsense or something that is not true. Example 1. Bullshit. He never said that. Example 2. He gave me some excuse, but it was a load of bullshit. Next. Bye bye means goodbye. Example 1. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Example 2. Are you going? Bye then. Next page. 248. Champion or champ. It means excellent. Example, your job is champion. Okay, thank you so much for saying it. Welcome. Next we have check, 
used to say yes to someone who is making certain that all the things on a list have been dealt with or included. Example, did you bring your sleeping bag? Check. Pillow? Check. Cheerio. It means goodbye. Example, cheerio. Have a good trip. Next, I've got cheers. It is also an expression which means goodbye. For example, I've bought you a drink. Cheers, mate. Cheers. It also means thank you. Cheers. See you next time. Next, I've got ciao, used for saying goodbye and less often hello. Example, ciao, catch you later. Next, congrats means congratulations. You can say the short form. Example, congrats for your brill result. Thank you so much for this beautiful expression. Thank you. Next, we have got cool means excellent or very good. For example, So how was the concert? It was cool. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, cool. We have cool. In American accent, it is core. And it means an expression of interest and admiration or surprise. Example, Kor, did you see him in the blue swimming trunks? Next, crikey, an expression of surprise. Example, crikey, how could you do this? Right, an expression of surprise. Example, cripes, you did it again. Crumbs, an expression of surprise or worry. Example, crumbs, mom will kill me. Really? Yes. Okay. Next. Damn. An expression of anger. Example. Damn. I have spilled coffee down my blouse. Next. Den. Used instead of damn to express anger. Example. Darn it. There goes my bus. Dash means used to express anger. Oh, dash it. I've left my umbrella in the office. Dear, used in expressions of anger, disappointment, sadness, or surprise. Oh, dear, I've lost my keys again. Dear me, it's already 4.30, and I said I'd be home by 5. Dear me, what a mess. Next, didums. Something you say to show that you feel no sympathy for someone who is behaving like a child. He called you a bad name, did he? Or oh, didums. Doggin used to express anger. Doggin it. Where's that letter? That doggone washing machine's broken again. Doda. Set when you feel stupid. Usually after doing something silly or to show that you think that what someone else has done or said is stupid. I forgot to turn it on. Though. Ick. An expression of worry or slight fear. Eek. I got an F again. A. Used to express surprise or confusion to ask someone to repeat what they have said or as a way of getting someone to give some type of reaction to a statement that you have made. James leaving her husband, A. Eh? Did you hear what I said? A. Eh? Say it again. I wasn't listening. Going overseas again, eh? It's a nice life for some. Ah, the sounds that people often make when they pause in the middle of what they are saying or pause before they speak, often because they are deciding what to say.
What time shall we meet this evening? Uh, well, he's got a nice friendly sort of face, though he's not exactly handsome. You recall, you used to show that you have been successful in something you were trying to do. Eureka! She shouted as the engine started. Flip! Used when you are slightly annoyed. Oh, Flip! I've missed the bus. Good day! Used when meeting or greeting someone. Good day, guys. Get it! Used at the end of saying something to attract attention to a joke that has been made with two meanings of a word. The new series of plays on Channel 4 is called For Play. Get it? G. An expression of surprise or enthusiasm. G. Honey, is that all your own hair? Got them. Used to add emphasis to what is being said. God damn it! How much longer will it take? Don't drive so goddamn fast. Golly! Used to show surprise. Grandad might be 70, but he said he'd finish the marathon and by golly he did! Goodbye! Used when someone leaves or is left. Goodbye, Bill. See you next week. Goodness used to express any strong emotion, especially surprise. My goodness, how many more times do I have to tell you? Goodness gracious me, what a terrible thought. Good night. Set when people leave each other in the evening or before going to bed or to sleep. Well, Good night. Sleep well. Give the children a good night kiss. Good o means good. I did it, mom. Good o. Goody used to show pleasure. Child word. Oh, goody. Chocolate cake. Gosh used to express surprise or strength of feeling. Gosh, I didn't expect to see you here. Gracious used to express surprise or to emphasize what is being said. Gracious me! Good gracious me! I never thought he'd do that! Ha ha! Used to express satisfaction that something bad has happened to someone who deserved it or to express a feeling of victory. He's left her, has he? Ha! Ah. That'll teach her to go chasing other women's husbands. Ah, so I'm right after all. Hallelujah! Said to express surprise and pleasure that something positive that you were certain would not happen has happened. At last, Richards found himself a friend. Hallelujah! Heavens! Exclamation used to express surprise or anger. Heavens! He's dead! Heck! An expression of usually slight anger or surprise or a way of adding forth to a statement, question, etc. Oh heck! It's later than I thought. Where the heck have you been? Hell! used to express anger or to add emphasis. Oh hell, I've forgotten my key. What the hell was that noise? We haven't got a hope in hell of meeting such a tight deadline. Hell's bells used to express anger or surprise. Hell's bells, can't you do anything right? Hey! used as a way of attracting someone's attention, sometimes in a way which is not very polite. Hey, what are you doing with my car? Hey, are you guys coming to Nazifa's party? Hey presto, said when something appears or happens so quickly or easily that it seems to be magic.
You put your money in the machine and, hey presto, the coffee comes out. Hi, used as an informal greeting, usually to people who you know. Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, yeah, an expression said when people who know each other will meet. Hi, yeah, Jannat, how are you doing? Mm hmm. Something you say when you pause while talking or when you are uncertain. Which one do you like best? Hmm, I'm not sure. He says he's doing it for our benefit. Hmm, I'm still not convinced. Honestly, just to emphasize disapproval. Honestly, you think she'd have asked you first. Howdy. Hello. Howdy, friend. Ha. Used to show that you have not heard or understood something. So what do you want to do tonight? Huh? What did you say? Huh. These instructions don't make sense. Ha. Huh. Used to express disapproval. Ha. Huh. I don't think much of that idea. Ha. Huh. Used to add the end of a question or statement, especially when you want someone to agree with what you have said. I'll bet you wish you hadn't done that, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Hooray! Used to express excitement, pleasure or approval. You won? Hooray! Hooray! It's time to go home. Hush! Used to tell someone to be quiet. Hush! You will wake the baby. Ick! Used to express a feeling of being so shocked you feel sick. Then he ate the warm. Ick! Indeed, used to express surprise, anger or lack of belief or interest. She said she won't come back until Monday. Won't she, indeed? When will we get a pay rise? When, indeed? Jeez, an expression of surprise or strong emotion. Jeez, don't yell at me. I'm just telling you what she said. Next page, page 254. Later. A way of saying goodbye. Laters, Remy. Look, used to express anger. Look, I've already told you it's not possible. Look here, I've had enough of this. Man, used as an exclamation, especially when you are expressing a strong emotion. Man, we had a good time. We drank all through the night. Really? Not really. All right. Next. My. Used to express surprise or pleasure. My. What delicious food. My. Oh my. What a busy day. Oh. Used to express different emotions such as surprise, disappointment and pleasure. Often as a reaction to something someone has said. He's been married three times. Oh really? I didn't know that. I'm afraid I can't come to the party. Oh, that's a shame. Is that for me? Oh, you're so kind. I'm sorry, I forgot to ring you. Oh, don't worry. Oh, introduces an idea that you have just thought of or something that you have just remembered. Oh, I've just thought of a problem. Oh, and don't forget to lock the back door. Oh, used with other expressions of disappointment, sadness, anger, etc. Oh dear, what a mess. Oh hell, I've left my umbrella behind. Okay, used to show that you agree with something 
will agree to do something. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Could you pick me up from the station? Okay, what time? I mean, okay, which means I accept that. I wasn't exactly polite to him, but I don't think I was that rude. Okay, used to check that someone understands something or that they agree to something. You need to add a bit more vinegar, okay? I'll see you at 6.30, okay? Okay, used as a way showing that you are going to start something new. Okay, let's go. Okay then, if you're ready, we'll start. Okay, used in the middle of a sentence as a way of pausing. We saw this. We saw these guys. Okay, so we went up to them and started talking. Okie dokie means okay. We can leave now. Okie dokie. Really? No. We have more recording. Definitely. Ooh, an expression of surprise. Pleasure, approval, disapproval or pain. Ooh, what a lovely dress. Ooh, yes, that would be nice. Ooh, that's a bit unkind. Oops, an expression of surprise or feeling sorry about a mistake or slight accident. Oops, I've typed two L's by mistake. Oops a daisy, something said to young children when they fall over. Baby, it's okay. Oops a daisy. Ouch, used to express sudden physical pain. Ouch, you're hurting me. You're not, by the way. Ow, used to express sudden pain. Ow, stop it. You're hurting me. Pardon, used to politely ask someone to repeat something. They have said because you have not heard it. Pardon? I didn't get you, sir. Really? No, I did. <laughs> I beg your pardon, used to show that someone has said something that offends you. Women tend to make fairly useless drivers anyway. I beg your pardon? Phew, used when you are happy that something difficult or dangerous has finished, or is not going to happen, or when you are tired or hot. Phew, I'm so glad I don't have to give that speech. Ew, it's boiling in here. Piddle, an expression used when you are slightly annoyed. Oh, piddle, I've broken another glass. Oh, really? You have glasses? <laughs> yeah, I used to, not that glass, but when I play cricket at home, I do break one or two glasses. Oh my god! Be careful! Yeah, from your mom, especially. Yes, obviously. Please, use to make a request more polite. Could I have two cups of coffee and a tea, please? Please remember to close the windows before you leave. Alright, noted. Please, used to add forth to a request or demand. Please, David, put the knife down. Please, David, don't put it. Please. <laughs> You're my friend. You should be supporting me, man. Uh, that's an example. <laughs> okay. Oh, please, do shut up. Please, used specially by children to a teacher or other adult in order to get the attention. Please, miss, I know the answer. Please, used when accepting something politely or enthusiastically. More potatoes? Please. May I bring my husband? Please do. Oh, yes, please, shouted the children. Used to show that something has happened suddenly or by magic. He waved his hand over the empty box and poof! 
a dove appeared. Pooh said when you smelled something unpleasant. Pooh, something stinks in here. Quick, used for telling someone to do something quickly. Quick, close the door before the cat comes in. Rather, certainly, yes. Do you want to come out for dinner with us this evening? Rather, Really? Used to express interest, surprise or anger. I'm getting married to Fred. Really? When? She's agreed to do a parachute jump for charity. Really? Do you think she'll do it? He hasn't brought the book back. Oh really? That's the second time I've asked him. Right. Used to express agreement with someone or to show that you have understood what someone has said. Tharikni, you climb up first. Right. Right, said when you want to make a group of people notice you, especially so that you can start an activity. Right, you lot. Could you all stop talking and then we'll begin said between parts of a story that you are telling in order to make certain that people are paying attention and understanding. So there I was, right, and this guy came up to me. Salam, greeting by the Muslims. Salam, sir. Wa alaikum salam, sir. Thank you. Shh, used to tell someone to be quiet. Shh, you wake the baby. Shame on you. Shame on you. How could you do this? Shit, used to express anger or surprise. Oh shit, we're going to be late. Really? No, not really, but shit, the damn thing's broken. Oh my god. Shh, said to animals or children to make them go away. Shoo. She shouted at the cat. Shush! Used to tell someone to be quiet. Shush! I want to listen to the news. Said when you notice that two things are the same. Snap! We're wearing the same shirts. Sot! Used to express anger. Oh, sod it! I've left my glasses behind. Sorry. Used when apologizing for something. That's my foot uh, treading on. Sorry. Sorry. Used to show politeness when refusing something or disagreeing. Sorry, you can't go in there. Sorry. Used when politely asking someone to repeat something or when politely interrupting someone. He's late. Sorry. I said he's late. Sorry, could you just say that last sentence again, please? Mm -hmm, nice. Struth. Is, so far, is, Struth. pronunciation is really tough, isn't it? St yes. I mean, the spelling is S-T-R-E-W-T-H. Yeah. It sounds like it's truth, something like that. But it <laughs> actually sounds it's like Struth. Struth. Yeah. ra uth right? Yeah. Used to express surprise or disappointment. It's truth. Look at the size of that stick. Mm, okay. Sugar. When used when something annoying happens. Oh, sugar. I've just split coffee all down my jacket. Ta means thank you. Really? Ta, Jannat. Mm hmm. I mean, thank you, Jannat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it really cool? Yeah. It is, it is. Top. Meaning excellent. How was your party? Top, mate. You coming then? Yeah, top. Ugh. Used to express a strong feeling of disgust, disapproval or dislike at something very unpleasant. Ugh. I've got something horrible on the bottom of my ass shoe. Ugh. I'm not eating that. 
Yeah. Uh, this is called exclamations things, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you like this lesson? Yeah. It was cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. So let's know about you. Which school you're from? I'm from Vikarnas and North School. And you were a college student? No. I'm what a school, <laughs> school student. School student? Yeah. Really? What What is a grade? I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> How beautifully you can pronounce. Thank That's you, That's really good, honey. Thank you. Thanks for listening.